Hey guys, it's Fanny from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool, and today we are doing a get clean it, cleaning, get it done with me video. And we just had that hurricane. We brought a bunch of stuff in from the outside, and the house is a mess. That is a the screen from the. I don't even know how to put it away. That's the screen that we use to watch things in a. Um, outside by the pool, like a movie theater, pool side movie theater. I'm half asleep, guys. I just woke up from a nap, a nap. <laughs> but we've been hanging out in this room a lot, so you can see there's cups everywhere, and blankets everywhere, and like just the stuff that go, has to go outside. With the shoes everywhere, and then my table is really not that bad compared to what it could be. I have two purses here because I swap purses out. This is stuff because I'm preparing my lessons to teach. At our homeschool co-op that starts up again, I do have to finish that. We got a ton of shoes here and packages. Um, my outside sign that I took from outside for the hurricane is sitting here. We got a random basketball, dog toys, and that's just this room. Um, so we're gonna shoot a video cleaning up the homeschool space. And then if I have battery life and I get to it, we'll tackle the kitchen as well because I know that area is messy as well and my laundry room so some of those packages are to organize my laundry room which is the homeschool storage space so I'm gonna try my best to get as much done as fast as possible in this video it's gonna be just a quick motivational video to get you motivated to clean because I just saw someone else's and I was just feeling really tired and it motivated me so hopefully this can motivate you to get some weekend cleaning done so here it is I'm taking all of the blankets and th clothes that are around and throwing them on a pile on the floor so that I can wash them with the laundry. I'm also removing all the things that don't belong in this room and putting them where they go and spraying my couch so that it doesn't smell like the dogs because they like to lay on my top of my sofa so I always use Febreze to keep it nice and fresh. I have my book basket here with my morning basket and my kids morning basket stuff that I keep under the table so that just has to get nice and organized as well. it's time to take back out all of the things that do not belong in my formal living room I'm also gonna take apart our theater screen and put it where it belongs and these speakers is how we listen to the screen when we're watching movies in the pool I'm gonna also go outside and hose everything down in a second and just get it nice and tidy but first we have to take apart this movie theater screen Putting away all these floaties, I realized we need to buy a container to store them all in. But for now, they are going to just get folded up and put on this bench. There was a little frog on here that we did have to save. Other than that, we were just putting everything on the bench and then just hosing it all down. I don't know how these floors get so dirty 
when we don't even wear shoes in the house i if i swept every single day and mopped we'd probably still have the same amount of dust and dirt lying around the house somehow Now it's time to tackle the, my homeschool area, but at the same time, my kids have homeschool work to do. I allowed them to do their work late today because I had a doctor's appointment this morning and then I wanted to get some cleaning done, but I figured it was the perfect time that I could help them do a little bit of things while I was cleaning the classroom anyway. In my eyes, we haven't really officially started our full homeschool year because we haven't tackled all of the subjects. I was waiting for co-op to start, which it did, and then we are gonna have full on school the day after. But there's some things here that I can't put away right away because I need them to prepare for co-op. And my daughter also has a craft on the table that she's making, so I'm just getting it as clean as possible. The other day I shoved everything that was on the table into this pink bin and now I have to put it away. I also have this new tier for all the papers and all of this stuff is crafts and things that are going to go in my laundry room which you'll see in the next video which is also my homeschool storage space.